When you're feeling creative, imagination, it's time to start making art tonight. Alrighty, what's up guys? These are the two pairs of Vans shoes that I'm using here. Uh, I really like these shoes. I wore them for probably a couple years each. Um, they both got kind of torn up, The, as you can see here. Nah, so these are the plate pieces that I kind of broke apart or cut apart so you can see the pieces I'm going to be using here. Um, and so, so you can see kind of how they're constructed and the pieces that I've kind of taken off here. Uh, just use scissors. Scissors kind of cut them right up, no problem. Uh, I thought these parts would be usable. I washed the parts to make sure they didn't smell bad. You can't make a puppet with stinky parts. So here you see we have one of the soles of the shoe and I kind of cut off the heel here because then it kind of puffs up as you see it kind of lifts off the bottom of the sole there and uh, actually makes the perfect little spot to be able to put your thumb to kind of form the bottom of a uh, lower mouth jaw. You can kind of see it, how, the, how I'm planning on using that here. Now from that same shoe, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the toe area here and uh, try to use that for the top of the jaw. Oh, yup, yup, that's what I'm going for right there. You can see it, you can see what I'm, uh, it's kind of coming together there. It's getting some little character to it, a little personality. Okay, okay, fits together nicely. Let's, Let's jump back over to the other shoe here. Uh, I'm gonna take the back of this shoe here because uh, if you look at this piece here, it's pretty cool. You wouldn't think about it normally, but it kind of looks like a, like a shape of a helmet or like something that would come over your head. Head, 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 head Little head. ear cup, ear muffs or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together with these. These are the pieces so far that we're using here. And uh, here's what we got. Look at that, check it out. Uh, okay. Next here, we got some uh, bottle caps. You know, good old beer bottle caps here. In this case, Revolver Blood and Honey. That's a good one. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use this bottle cap and I'm kinda gonna just bend it here with uh, some pure power. Uh, I gotta watch my strength. A lot of times I'll break stuff because you just, you just never know how hard I, how hard I can squeeze things. Swell fingers. Swell fingers, swell fingers. About 0.03% of my finger strength here. I uh, get a pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, uh, nice eyelid shape, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good eyelid shape, I'd say. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think I'm gonna pop some marbles in there. Oh yeah. All right, so I went ahead and attached with some super glue here the eyes to the top of the snout and to the hat. You'll also see I took the other back of the shoe and mirrored it to the back of the hat so they, they kind of make this solid piece. Um, you'll also see the shoe tongue on the back to look like a hat going backwards. This is where I had to start getting creative to figure out what else can I add. When you're feeling creative, so I took those little metal circles that hold the shoelaces in there, I took those off and then this little rim here, I actually thought this little rim would actually make a good uh, eyelid to kind of form around that marble a little bit. Also the tips of the shoelaces here, the little plastic tips, cut those off, which then I'm using for the teeth. teeth. Uh, I cut each of those in half so they would be shorter and I could double the amount I had. But you can see those holes on the front for the nose holes all the little shoelaces there for the for the mouth. Looking pretty good. Oh, also those eyelids up top above the uh, marbles, you can see that rim from the tongue that I had taken there. All right, let's uh, see a side view here real quick. Okay, yeah, nice profile. You can see the, uh, I also put some of those little holes on the top of the head here. And lastly here, I cut off the sides stripe of the orange shoe to make these ears. So I didn't really know that, what this was gonna be the whole time, but now it's kind of forming into what looks to be a dog. Uh, but yeah, I really like the way this hat looks with the ears kind of going through it. You got the holes on the sides of the hat, more shoelace holes. You got the tongue in the back for a backwards hat. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Uh, lastly, you can see I uh, painted the inside of the mouth red. Red, red. Kind of show red, red, the red inside. Red, and I kind of put a little tongue in there, which was another cutout from the shoe that I painted red. Red. Also, the only thing holding everything together is super glue, other than a few threads that I poked through and tied knots. Thank you to 
Archer Folk, that's the end of the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe like a plant, it will grow. Hope you learned something and I'll see you down the road. I don't know where I'd go if I didn't have my show.